Hi, I'm the Respiratory Support Nurse here at Perth Children's Hospital and today we're talking about CPAP machines. This is the machine we most commonly use here at Perth Children's Hospital and it's called the Essence machine. There are four parts to your CPAP machine. There's your power supply that connects to the wall. There's your humidifier chamber. This is really important because it warms and moistens the air as it passes through your airway as it moves through a bit quicker than normally. If you don't have this one in with the right amount of water in it, then it will just dry you out and make you quite uncomfortable. With this, it makes the CPAP machine a lot more comfortable to use. You've got the machine and you've got your tubing. It all fits together quite simply. Your power cord fits in the back here. It only fits in one way, you can't do it wrong. The humidifier opens up with a simple click here open and close for easy cleaning and refilling. You slide in, again it only slides in one way, give it a firm push and you'll feel it click in place. Your tubing has a chip at the back here that lines up with the chip here. Only clicks in one way as well and you'll hear that one click in place. This final end connects to your mask and we'll talk about that one in a little bit. On your machine, you've got a home button, a dial for adjusting between some of your options here, and a start button. On the side here, there's a cover over the filter. and It's just a small white piece that sits inside. Make sure that one's closed nicely. On the front, there's a home button and at night time, after a few minutes, the screen will go dim so it doesn't keep you awake at night. If you wish to see the screen again, you can just press the home button and it'll take you back here. There's a dial on the side here that you can rotate and select from sleep report or my options. In the sleep report, it tells you how you've gone throughout the night and has a few options and you can give us a call to chat about those if you wish. Make sure you position your CPAP machine next to your bed below head height so that any water in your tubing doesn't flow into your mask and ideally make sure that there's no books or anything resting up against the air filter on the side here. The top is the on and off button. At night time, once you've connected all of your parts, connected your mask and checked the seal, you simply press on and away you go. The SN CPAP machine has to be connected to the wall in order for it to operate. There is no battery. Now we're going to talk about the masks and we've got Layla here to help us demonstrate. We've got a few different kinds of masks that are here on offer at Perth Children's Hospital. The first one is one that goes under the nose and has a strap around the back of the head. The air comes in through the top and comes in around to the front. The next mask we have goes over the nose and the mouth and it sits in the cleft of your chin and above the bridge of your nose. The air comes in through the front of this one but also has the headgear at the back. It's got two connection points connecting at the sides. This is the mask that goes over the nose only and the air comes in through the front and has two connection points on the side of the headgear. So now we're going to fit the under the nose mask and you undo the velcro at the sides and if you're going to hold the mask under the nose, if you can, Layla. Thank you. And the mask, the headgear goes around the back of the head, feed through the side of the mask, and velcro in place. This is a really important safety feature at the front here. This should always be open and never obstructed. You should always feel air coming out the front of your mask. To know that you've got a good seal on your mask, you shouldn't have air coming out the top of the mask, the bottom of the mask, or the sides of the mask. How does that feel? Is that right? Okay. We undo the Velcro at the back to take it off. You can undo both sides if you wish, or just one side. But one side makes it easier for the next night. The next mask we're going to try on is the nose and the mouth mask. So we'll hold this one on. Another one over your nose there. We pull the headgear down around the back of the head. And clip on. Front. If you have long hair, you can wear it up in a ponytail or down like Layla's. If you feel it's not tight enough, 
you can just adjust the Velcro straps on the sides, the top here or the bottom. The top if it feels a bit loose around the bridge of your nose and the bottom if it's feeling loose around the cleft of your chin. The last mask we're going to talk about today is the over the nose mask. This mask goes over the head like the others. Put one on there, lovely. Pull the headgear down around the back and connect it at the bottom connection points. It just snaps into place there. The way you can tell if your mask is fitting properly, you have your blower valve at the front, which should always be open as it's an important safety feature. No air blowing up the top or the bottom or out the sides. It should fit comfortably otherwise. Another way that you can tell that your mask is fitting well is if you can fit a finger under each side to make sure it's not too tight and too uncomfortable. To take it off, you just unclip the sides here. and lift it off. We'll demonstrate connecting the whole CPAP machine together. So we'll pop this one on, now we can hold it in place. We'll clip it on. And then we'll connect our tubing to the end of the mask tubing. So we simply, it's a rubber end and wiggles in place. To turn our machine on, all we're doing is pressing the start button at the top here. Ready? It can feel a bit strange to start with, but this is why it's a really important idea to have a little practice in front of the TV or when you're reading a book, sitting quietly at home. Feel okay? <laughs> To turn it off, we just press the start button again and then we're ready to take our mask off. The Essence has a few extra features on it and we just want to talk about those here. If you use the dial from the home screen and then you adjust the dial to my options at the top there, press your dial and then you can scroll down to run mask fit. If you click on mask fit, this way you can test to see whether your mask is a good fit before you get settled in for the night. It's not attached to a mask at the moment and it can detect that it needs to be adjusted. You get a sad face when that happens. In the morning, you can scroll down to your sleep report, press on the center of the dial again, and you'll be able to see the two smiley faces here. That means that we've had a good mask fit over the night and our humidifier is still happy. It can take a little while to figure out your mask and get used to it. So give us a call if you're having any problems and we'll help you troubleshoot it and help you find a way to continue to use your CPAP mask at home.